Okay, so we're going to keep going on sales forecast, and this time around, we're going to add a dimension. So uh, right now we have uh, basically items as lines, and we have period across, right? So we got items coming here, and then it could be January, February, March, April across. So uh, we were able to do uh, customer group, which is medium, you know, small, and large. And that was in the system already, in the demo system. But what if you wanted to create your own dimension with your own values? So you can create a new dimension. Uh, you just, and I'm going to show you how to do that in the screen share. And we're creating uh, <coughs> a new dimension, which is going to be a shortcut dimension. So there are two terms in the system, there's shortcut and global. The global ones are already there um, and they are, they're always available in the sales forecast and there's only two of those and they've been set in the demo system. One of them is departments. I think the other ones is the customer group. Uh, the shortcut dimensions, we can create as many of those as we like and we're gonna create a new one in the system in the screen share, you'll see how it works. That, that one is gonna be called region and the regions in there are going to be southwest, southeast, northwest, and northeast. And so this is brand new. You could come up with whatever categorization you like, name it whatever you like, put in the values that you like for that categorization, and budget for that inside the sales budget. And the system will track it as long as you log it. And we do have videos on dimensions, although they are in 2018 NAV, not in BC and we'll make the BC ones soon. But if you wanna check on the 2018 one, I definitely recommend you do that. So we do the same thing as before, but we're just gonna have this three dimensional space here. So imagine we're now in three dimensions uh, and we have on this angle here, Southwest, Southeast, um, Northwest and Northeast. So, so we're picking a particular item for a particular time and then for each one of the regions we put in a value uh, and that is going to be the sales forecast let's say for coffee mug January Southwest, coffee mug January Southeast etc. And you can actually create as many dimensions as you like so and again we go into this fourth dimension, fifth dimension etc. I mean, we could have another dimension here, like item group, and that could be coffee and something else, you know, furniture. And so we would be then budgeting for a particular item, particular time, particular region, and particular group, item group. So easy to get lost in these, but, um, gives unlimited flexibility. So let's take a look at how that works in Business Central. All right, let's take a look at dimensions. So I'm gonna go right in here, um, type in dimensions, and I get dimensions up, surprise, surprise. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one, and it's gonna call, be called region. And in the region code here, we're gonna go ahead and let me see a dimension, dimension values, there we go. And we can add in the dimension. So I'm gonna add in four regions. It's gonna be the Northeast, uh, and then the Northwest, and Southeast, and Southwest. So we are selling in the US and uh, we care about the breaking up basically the US by four regions. So this was, that's exactly how easy it is to create your, your attribute that's gonna categorize or split up your GL by these values. So it could be whatever you want. Um, and in this case, it's region. So let's go ahead and close this out. 
and then go into sales budget. Uh, and right here. And I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to call it 2019 sales and just R for region. 2019 sales by region. Okay. And in here, I have to specify my new dimension. So there's something called uh, the two primary dimensions, and then there are extra dimensions, basically. And region is an extra dimension. It's not one of the primary dimensions. And that's why we need to add that in here. The two primary ones or global, actually global dimensions. That's what they're called. I was looking for that word. Um, the two global dimensions are always included. So you don't have to add them in here. Uh, any extra dimensions that you put in there or shortcut dimensions, uh, as the system calls it, you have to add. So I'm going to add region since that's a shortcut dimension. And then I go in here and just hit edit budget. And I get my matrix again. And it is uh, with the filter of 101, 19 to 25. Okay, that's fine. Um, so what I want to do is use the third dimension, just like we did before. So I'm only going to look at January. So 101, 19 to 01, 31, 19. Uh, just January, and then I'm going to change the columns to show region. And there it comes. So I now have this four regions. So I can go ahead and say I'm going to sell 500 Northeast, 500 Northwest, 1000 in the Southeast, and 750 in the Southwest. So uh, these coffee mugs are doing really well in the South. <laughs> And I can do the same thing for the packaged coffee beans, obviously, 750, 1500, 2000, uh, and 500. So if I now take a look at it by period again, just hit OK, and then it sums it up. So now I have budgeted by region. Uh, and that is my third dimension. And it's a new dimension. You can see here region filter It's a new dimension uh, that I just created, created the name, created the values. And if you have something that you budget by, doesn't matter what it is, you can go in uh, Business Central, add it as a dimension, add the values and budget by it. And on top of that, you can do so much more with dimensions. And I do have a lot of videos with NAV. 2016, 17, 18 on dimensions, and I'm probably going to redo them for Business Central because the Business Central people are um, probably not looking at those. And for the NAV people, well, you're just going to see how it works in Business Central as well. So, thanks for now. Until next time.